Mariah Island's known for its stunning landscape, wildlife and convict past. Its future's now in the spotlight, with its 23-year-old management plan being rewritten. It's such a special place that we need to make sure that we manage it appropriately for the next 10, 20 and 30 years. We currently provide accommodation in the Darlington Precinct, in the probation station. This Better recognising the island's rich Aboriginal history is a key part of the plan. It will also look at commercialising parts of the popular island, with water taxis, luxury accommodation and cafes on the table. It's appropriate that you know, over the next 20 years, we make sure that any commercial activities that do come to the island and that do operate here are in the right buildings. They protect the extraordinary cultural values of the Darlington Precinct. The convict buildings at Darlington were World Heritage listed a decade ago. And when you step off the boat, it's like stepping back in time. Like it's your own journey around the island to uncover, you know, the layers of history. The prospect of increased commercialisation has sparked concerns. Having cafes and minibuses will detract and degrade from that unique character of the island. There's not much there. The wombats keep the grass nice and short. Uh, there's a windsock and not much else. Shannon Wells's company runs tours to the island. He says visitors are enthralled by the wildlife and isolation. We gave the feedback that we don't want any change there. We don't want toilets there. We don't want a, a building or anything. I think the, it's important to keep Mariah Island as natural as possible. There's a proposal to develop privately run visitor accommodation here in the World Heritage listed Darlington Precinct. It's been given the green light to negotiate a lease, but it can't go ahead until changes are made to the management plan. The idea is to rebuild Adkins House, which burnt down 20 years ago for guests to sleep in, on an exclusive overnight tour run by an ASX listed company. A document obtained by the ABC reveals Parks and Wildlife has been looking to amend the management plan since 2017 to allow the project to go ahead. A similar change happened when the management plan for the Tasmanian Wilderness World Heritage Area was renewed to clear the way for a luxury standing camp at Lake Malbina. But it's certainly thing that you know, we want to make sure is in the mix, that as part of the consultation process, people are aware of the fact that there was a proposal uh, through the expressions of interest process to rebuild the Adkins house. I don't see any need to rebuild a house. It's World Heritage status here. You don't want to risk that either. And furthermore, it's not for public use. It's exclusive. It's high-end tourism. And I think you can find high-end tourism outside of national parks. More than 400 people have already made submissions on how the management plan should look and public meetings have been held across the state. You know, it's an incredibly complex mix of history, nature, wildlife and people. A need to get the balance right. Alexandra Humphreys, ABC News, Mariah Island.